Before we start going down Kojima's little PT Silent Hills rabbit hole, I just wanted to say thanks to the people who helped confirm the solution for us. You guys are awesome. Thank you for helping. So one of the things that's been plaguing players of PT since day one is the final puzzle. The first person to solve it, Soapy Warpig on Twitch, seemed to do so entirely at random, and since then players have been scrambling to figure out exactly what events should be followed to trigger the phone to ring. Various methods have been found, but none of them solve the puzzle consistently. Or, to be more specific, no one has yet found a way of triggering the second baby laugh regularly. See, players have been able to get some of the final puzzle solved. The things we know for certain are this. The goal of the final puzzle is to get the phone to ring. To do this, you must wait until midnight, which will cause a clock to start chiming. Once the clock chimes, you must walk exactly 10 steps and stop. This will cause a baby, presumably the fetus in the bathroom, to laugh. There are a total of three baby laughs that need to be triggered, but here's where players hit a snag. No one knows exactly how to get the baby to laugh the second time, but we do know what to do after it does laugh. <laughs> Stay perfectly still. The controller will start to vibrate, and after it stops, the baby will laugh a third time, <laughs> causing the phone to start ringing. Picking up the phone unlocks the final door and you're treated to the Silent Hills trailer, which is great, but how? How are we as players supposed to figure out this strangely specific order of events? That's what I asked myself, and the answer led me to find what I'm claiming is the final solution to PT. I may be wrong, true, Lord knows there are enough false positives with the final puzzle as it is, but my friends and I have been able to successfully trigger the ending consistently within two to three minutes of entering the final area. I encourage anyone watching to try this out for themselves and post your results. Anyways, enough stalling. While playing PT, you'll find pieces of a photo throughout the hallway, and one even hidden in your menu. Finding all pieces will assemble into a photo and reveal the full image, a woman. The woman in the photo is presumably Lisa, who also seems to be the ghost messing with you throughout the game. This can be deduced by solving one of the game's other puzzles, which requires you to gouge the right eye out of another picture of the woman near the radio. Who else has their right eye gouged out? The ghost. Upon collecting these photo pieces, words from various languages will appear on the screen. God's hand on GameFAQ translated them, and other players noticed another phrase in English that came up elsewhere in the game, but appeared in the same way as these phrases. Interestingly, one of the phrases can be translated to read, I believe I heard a phone. Knowing what we do about the process of solving the final puzzle, it's clear that this indicates these phrases are the guide players should follow to finish the game. But there's a problem. The phrases aren't numbered. What's the correct order? Going through most popular methods, it seems that one of the requirements to beating PT consistently is talking into your mic. Knowing this, I've assembled the phrases into what I believe to be the proper order. During the inert waiting, I stopped moving. I whispered his name. Then he slid his index finger over my hand. It was a cold hand. My body was shivering. I waited for it to pass. Never moving a step, his hand in mine and fading through a fog of consciousness. I believe I heard a phone. This is great. My body was shivering stands for the controller vibrating. I waited for it to pass stands for waiting until the controller stops vibrating. And never moving a step stands for, well, not moving a step. But I whispered his name. Whose name? The husband who murdered Lisa and their children? The radio announcer? In trying to solve this puzzle, one thing kept nagging me. Well, six things. The numbers 2, 0, 4, 8, 6, 3. These numbers appear throughout the game in various ways. The husband who murdered his family was chanting these numbers. The radio says these numbers at various points in the game. Two, zero, four, eight, six, three. Players have speculated that 204863 is merely a reference to Kojima's birthday, the 24th of August, 1963. While this is cool, it seems to just dismiss the zero between the two and four. Why is it there? To solve this, I began thinking the number was a code, that the numbers stood for letters. But solving this would require a key, another series of numbers that could be cross-referenced to solve the first series of numbers. 
But where else in the game do a series of numbers appear? Peggy 18. 7780. The name of the studio that created PT. We now know that Konami and Kojima were behind the creation of this game, so what's the significance of the numbers 7780? Why these numbers and not another name? Or anything else for that matter? Not only that, but why does the loading screen for PT have seemingly nothing to do with the game? It's just a picture of trees. Anyway, enough rhetoricals. 7780. If we assume the numbers translate into letters, that means the answer is a four character long word that begins with two of the same character and ends with two different letters. So we need a word four letters long that has three letters in it. What words fit these requirements? Also, is the loading screen different for a reason? Maybe it's a clue. In fact, there's a word that comes to mind that fits the requirements and features prominently in the loading screen. Tree. But 7780 starts with two of the same letter, right? Yeah, but what if the numbers are flipped? What if 7780 is E-E-R-T, so reversing the numbers is part of the solution? Let's apply this method to the first number set and see what we get. 204863 reversed is 368402. We've already solved for 7780, so we already know some of the letters in the sequence. Blank, blank, R, blank, T, blank. Assuming that the answer is a man's name, I whispered his name, that is six letters long, I began looking for a suitable answer. But there are a lot of men's names. Maybe there's a way to narrow the search down. Sure enough, there's a message in the game that appears in the second to last loop that may help. It's a glitch message that's signed by someone asking us to contact them, and they've signed the message J. So now our answer is J blank R blank T blank, making our search of male names much simpler. And right away a name popped out, a name that means descend and refers to the Book of Enoch, where angels came down from heaven to commit the sin of mating with human women, who had children known as the Fallen Ones, a story directly paralleling the story of Lisa, her husband, and her child. That name? Jareth. Applying this knowledge to the game is simple enough. After taking ten steps at the final loop and getting the first baby laugh, wait until Lisa stops making her ghost noises, but the radio hasn't gone completely silent. This is what that inert waiting phrase from before is referencing. Once Lisa stops, start saying Jareth into a mic connected to your PlayStation 4. It takes a few seconds for the game to register it, and sometimes you have to say it a few times for the voice recognition software to register what you're saying, but if done right... Jareth. 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 I've confirmed this method over 30 times by getting the second baby laugh and then resetting the level. It has worked on my first try on each reset every single time. So there we have it. Please give this method a shot and let us know what your results are. 
Once we confirm this or some other method, we can move on to figuring out what's up with those random flashlight colors. Who knows? Maybe PT has more secrets for us to uncover.